Yes? So, what's a distinguished personage like yourself doing here? <laughs> Don't hold your breath. No one's been allowed across the lake for days. I'm the ferryman. Leastwise, I used to be. Poor old Kester. Out of a job. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester. We got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy. Named for my grandmum, she was. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. Don't look at me. I told you, I'm not the ferryman no more. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over, but I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. You're too kind. Your type don't usually give my type the time of day. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Next to me, and in every major settlement, 
you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's a story. Of course. What would you like? Good day. What are you looking at? Can a man drink in peace? Allow me. I could do that for you. As you like. It shall be done. looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha. So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents, too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Kill some darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. 
Ugh, semantics. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. He won't know if you never get in, will he? Oh, I've outsmarted you. If I were more flexible, I'd pat myself on the back. Uh, is that bad? Look, I'm uh, just trying to do my job. I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. Come along, I suppose. Two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. This is why we cut the tongues from mages in Parvolan. I will admit to agreeing with your companion. Maker knows the Kunari would not have gotten themselves into this position. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide.
money. I could do that for you. I swear I will strike you down where you stand. I am Wynne, Mage of the Circle, and these children are under my protection. Who are you, and what is your purpose here? Have the Templars opened the door? Speak quickly, I'll have no games. And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the Circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the Circle to one man's pride and stupidity. erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Wynne, are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. If you are ready, let us go end this. Indeed. Yes. Oh, at last. Yes. Fashadon. Yes.
Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard. be done. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. 
It is a mess, and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. I do not know. But he came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. We should find Nial. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. The magic was a means to an end. It gave us... It gave me the power to fight for what I believed. Fighting for what you believe is commendable, but the ends do not always justify the means. You don't really believe that, do you, Wynne? Change rarely comes peacefully. Andraste waged war on the Imperium. She didn't write them a strongly worded letter. She reshaped civilization, freed the slaves, and gave us the Chantry. But people died for it. We thought, someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. on you for your mercy. Allow me. I could do that for you.
begun. be done. be done. Hello? I'm nobody. I'm harmless. Please, leave me alone. But the demons... If you're sure it's safe, I could take a peek outside. my back and my bum's gone numb. Oh, holy maker, look at this. Those demons didn't know what hit them, did they? Godwin, mage of the Circle of Ferelden, at your service. Oh, not as pleased as I am that you came along when you did. There were demons everywhere, blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very I just really want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. And 
go where? The Templars have locked the door. I'm just going to stay here and see what happens. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times. Shall be done. Begun. Allow me. I could do that for you. do that for you. On my way.
do not let them overwhelm us. As you say. It is begun. Allow me. I could do that for you. Enemies approaching.
Allow me. I could do that for you. Thank you. That was an uncomfortable experience. This cannot continue. We have to stop. It is time. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? All emotion is intangible. You cannot see it, cannot grasp it. But it is normally caused by something real. Real events, real people. What you've done to him is... is abhorrent. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. She's feeding off his innermost desires and taking away his will. This... this is unholy. No one else would have known his heart. He did not know it himself. I fulfill his dreams. I grant him all his desires. Is he my slave, or am I his? We are partners. I give him what no one else can, and through him, I experience what it is to be mortal. What was that? Help! There are bandits! 
bandits at the door. They're going to murder the children. They will not get past me. Shall be done. As you say. Is 
resist. You must resist, else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on without you. There you are. I'm not disturbing you, am I? You've been at Weishaupt for some time now. Do you like it here? The Darkspawn are gone, remember? You were there in the last great battle. It was a triumph for all of us, bringing down the Archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. Child, I have given you so much and you cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Who are you? Where did you come from? Are you a demon? No, I see that you're not. You're like me. Congratulations on getting out of that trap. The demon traps everything that comes here in a dream it thinks they can't or, or won't try to leave. I thought I'd escape too, but I've been wandering these empty gray spaces for a lifetime. Sheer stupidity, or perhaps very, very bad luck. My name is Njarl, by the way. I was trying to save the circle when I encountered the sloth demon. I expect our experiences were similar. Owain Helmer.
helped me greatly. I suppose I'll never be able to repay him. The litany was our weapon against the Blood Mage's domination. But it's too late. Everyone's dead. This place drains you of everything. Hope. Feeling. Life. No, there is no way out of here. You think there might be, but you'd be wrong. You see that pedestal there? I've studied the runes on it. Runes that signify different islands of the Sloth Demon's domain. The Sloth Demon itself is on the center island, but you can't get there. The five islands around the center somehow form a protective ward. I thought I was getting somewhere when I figured that out, and I went to each island in turn only to have my hopes dashed. There's always an obstacle. You'll see the path, but be unable to get to it. And it taunts you and drives you mad. I... I don't know. There are many dreamers. You might find a way to reach them through the island. If you're lucky. Don't mind me, then. her master, Sloth. There's a door. A door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my... Didn't it? You look 
a little different. What happened? Did you? Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? You're so much braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Do you think you could learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise.
the way. You must destroy the door. Other dreamers. Other powers. Only way. It shall be done.
begun.
shall do it. Perfect. It's what we do. Enemies approaching! back. That's not surprising. There's no way out. Every time you take a step, you think, maybe this step will take me home. But you'd be wrong. Not much. I know that it stops blood mages from taking over your mind. I don't even know who or what a drama is. You're better off asking someone more knowledgeable. is the mastermind behind it all. At Aldred's suggestion, the Circle was about to ally itself with Loghain when the Tern's treachery was revealed. Aldred made excuses, but we were having none of it. He panicked then, tried to leave. Irving would not let him. I was barely paying attention. Such meetings are boring. The course of and that was when I saw...
shall be done. Yeah. <laughs>
entiendes? I was just thinking about you. Isn't that a marvelous coincidence? This is my sister, Goldana. These are her children, and there's more about somewhere. <laughs> We're one big happy family, at long last. What are you talking about? Well, Alistair, is your friend staying for supper? Say you'll stay. Goldana's a great cook. Maybe she'll make her mince pie. You can, can't you? Of course, dear brother. Anything for you. You're acting really strangely. I don't feel like thinking right now. I was never very good at that anyway. I think your odd behavior is brought on by hunger. Now come and have some pie. I promise you'll feel better. Sometimes I just don't understand you. I'll be here then, if you ever want to visit. I do love pie. I can't wait. Are you sure you won't stay for supper? He's ours. Nothing you say will convince him otherwise. He sees only what we want him to see. I'm not so easily disposed of, Grey Ward. Try not to tell everyone how easily fooled I was. Are we going now? Wait, where are you going? What's happening to me? Hey!
begun. Thank <laughs> you. 
as you say. It. You belong here with us. No, no, 
No, not yet. My task is not yet done. It is not time yet. Come. Come away to your rest. Blessed art thou who exist in the sight of the Maker. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed... What? Who are you? I beg you, do not disturb the girl's meditations. Revered Mother, I do not know this person. I'm sorry, but I... I don't know what you're talking about. Please do not vex her. She needs quiet and solitude to calm her mind and heal her heart. Isn't real? I don't understand. I cannot trust you. I do not know you. Please, let me be. This is a place of peace and contemplation, and your behavior is inappropriate. Leave now, or I shall be forced to take steps. I will deal with you, and then our hold over the girl will be absolute. exist in the sight of the Maker. I... Revere Mother... Please do not vex. Why are you... This is a place of peace and... Holy Maker! She... She was a... Oh, my head feels heavy. Like I've just woken up from a terrible nightmare. I believe we had some task to accomplish. Let us be on our way. Wait. What's happening to me?
Disappeared. Well, no matter. You tried to keep us apart. You led us from each other because you fear us, don't you? You will not hold us, demon. We found each other in this place, and you cannot stand against us. If you go back quietly, I'll do better this time. I'll make you much happier. I made you happy and safe. I gave you peace. I did my best for you. And you say you want to leave? Can't you think about someone other than yourself? I'm hurt. So very, very hurt. You wish to battle me? So be it. You will learn to bow to your betters, mortal.
thought of. I never expected you to free yourself. To free us both. When you return, I take the litany of Adrala from my body. It will protect you from the worst of the blood magic. I cannot go with you. I have been here far too long. For you it will have been an afternoon's nap. Your body won't have wasted away in the real world while your spirit lays in the hands of a demon. Every minute I was here, the sloth demon was feeding off of me, using my life to fuel the nightmares of this realm. There is so little of me left. I was never meant to save the circle or survive its troubles. I am dying. It is as simple as that. Thank you, but it is too late for me. I do not fear what may come. They say we return to the Maker in death. And that isn't such a terrible thing. My only regret is that I could not save the Circle. But you... You can. Take the litany off my... My body when you return. It is important. I'm not a hero. Perhaps trying to be one was foolish. It is time for us both to be on our way. Remember the litany of Adrala. The circle is all that matters now. Thank you, and goodbye.
Allow me. I could do that for you. Again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. The boy is exhausted. And this cage, uh, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Uh, enough visions. If anything in you is human, uh, kill me now and stop this game. He's delirious. He's been tortured and has probably been denied food and water. I can tell. Here, I have a skin of... Don't touch me. Stay away. Filthy blood mages getting in my head. Ah, uh, I will not break. I'd rather die. What others? What are you talking about? Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred. Where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sounds coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them! You don't know what they've become. They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. His hatred of mages is so intense. The memory of his friend's deaths is still fresh in his mind. You have to end it now, before it's too late. To ensure this horror is ended, to guarantee that no abominations or blood majors live, you must kill everyone up there. Thank you. I knew you would make a rational decision. Rational? How is this rational? Do you understand the danger? I know full well the dangers of magic, but killing innocents because they might be Maleficarum is not justice. I know you are angry. You know nothing! I am thinking about the future of the Circle, of Ferelden! I am just willing to see the painful truth, which you are content to ignore. Ah, but what can I do? As you can see, I am in no position to directly influence your actions, though I would love to deal with the mages myself. My cage is Aldred's doing, or one of his mages. Once they're dead, I will be free. No one ever listens, not until it's far too late. Make her turn his gaze on you.
gift that I offer. such a commanding voice. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Ah, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. And freeing them in the process. A mage is but the larval form of something greater. Your gentry vilifies us, calls us abominations, when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The gentry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're mad. There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. I could give you this gift to win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. Everywhere I go, resistance, how very inconsiderate. I even have the first enchanter on my side. Don't I, Irving? What have you done to him? Stop him. He is building an army. He will destroy the Templars. And you're a sly little fox, Irving, telling on me like that. And here I thought he was starting to turn. Never. That's enough out of you, Irving. He'll serve me eventually. As will you. Killing you would be a waste. Your raw potential, with the strength of a demon behind it, would be unstoppable. Make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us.
too old for this. Irving, are you all right? I've been better. But I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynn? I wasn't alone. I had help. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the Tower is once again ours. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the Circle be housed in a tower. expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. tragedy and be strengthened by it we have won back the tower i will accept irving's assurance that all is well but they may have demons within them lying dormant lying in wait enough i have already made my decision thank you you have proven yourself a friend of both the circle and the templars i promised you aid but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. Yes, Irving. For now, I will have to oversee a sweep of the tower. There may be some survivors, and we should do our best to tend to them. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. I shall gather what mages I... 